All right, well, if you're looking for drivable destinations for day trips or weekend adventures in the Southeast, then you are in for a treat. Our friends at Ingalls have developed a series of travel videos and they're called the Ingalls Open Road. Each week, they'll be bringing us a new destination and unusual points of interest. This week, Ingalls takes us to the Western North Carolina Nature Center. I'm Chris Bainbridge, inviting you to take a ride with me. This is an amazing place to find adventure in all shapes and sizes. Ingalls has sent me on a mission to bring you the very best of what our beautiful home has to offer. Food, fun, nature, music, and more. All affordable and all out of the ordinary. This is the Ingalls Open Road. Today, we're taking a walk on the wild side and having a lot of fun along the way, exploring 42 acres of amazing outdoor animal habitat. Welcome to the Western North Carolina Nature Center. Let's go. While Asheville has had a zoo since the Great Depression, the Western North Carolina Zoological Society formed in the mid-1970s, and in 1977, the Nature Center officially opened its gates to the animal-loving locals of Asheville and beyond. A few years later in 1981, the River Otter exhibit opened. This is one of our favorite areas of the campus because not only can you enjoy these cute creatures above and below the water, you can do your own best otter impression and slide on down. One really cool thing about the Nature Center is that it's populated entirely by animals that either live or once lived in the mountains of Western North Carolina. Believe it or not, their newest residents, the Red Pandas, actually once called these mountains home, albeit an ancestor a long, long time ago. Not only is this place home to amazing creatures you'll love getting to know, the campus is beautiful. As you wander your way through tree-covered pathways, you can soak in the beauty of the mountains, along with the beauty of our wild friends. And there are a lot of wild friends, from bobcats to mountain lions to wolves and coyotes to black bears to foxes and so much more. There's a reptile house, a bird sanctuary, and a little tortoise town. And then there's the barnyard, a place where you can get up close and personal with many of the creatures who played a big part in the early farm days of the area. With interactions and fun, fuzzy creatures, it's a great place for some up close interaction. Right, Eeyore? There are also a couple of great nature play areas, a gem and fossil mine, and of course, the gift shop. This is a place you're going to want to visit again and again. And good news, they have memberships that pay for themselves in as little as two visits that also get you discounted access to zoos and aquariums across the entire country. So get ready to get wild and try out one of my favorite places in the mountains. Plan your visit at wildwnc.org and then head on over to the Nature Center for howling good time. Your weekend is waiting. On the Ingalls Open Road. Let's go this way. Love that. Thanks to Ingalls Markets for sponsoring that segment.